It's not essential to learn to ring up at this stage, although it's a good idea. But it's vital to teach the learner always to check the bellies down before taking in coils. As the bell swings higher, it draws the rope further up through the ceiling. The ringer's job is to allow just enough rope out to allow the bell to swing without the rope becoming slack. OK, George, we're going to learn about ringing up. Now, the first thing that we always do is to check that the bell is down. It is. Now, we begin by making three loops. To do that, you take the normal backstroke grip, move the top hand forward, and bring your hands back together, top hand above, to make the first loop. The second loop should be slightly smaller to stop the rope getting tangled. And the third loop is when I move up and take the sally. We start to swing the bell, and the bell draws the rope through your hands. When you feel the loop getting tight around your hand, you must get ready to release it. Let it go and top hand straight down to the bottom hand. When the sally starts to jump, you just need to start to guide it. When the loop's tight, get ready to release it and to take up the slack, give a slightly harder pull just before. There it is. Now we can just start to put a little bit of weight onto the sally as well. Bell's nearly at the top, so we must be sure to let go of the third loop before the bell is fully up. When the loop's tight around your hand, release the loop, hand straight down, and go to normal ringing. And stand. Right, George, now it's your turn to have a go at ringing up. To begin with, would you like to just check that the bell really is down? Good. It is. And we check the rope length before when the bell was up, so we don't need to worry about that. Let, us, let me just demonstrate the loops to you, and in particular, the grip at the, on the sally at the top. It's very important to have the coils between your thumb and the sally, and towards you. Can you see that? OK. Now, the next thing we're going to practice is releasing that very last loop that you have to get rid of. Would you like to take a loop? That's it. And then top hand off, off the rope and just practice flicking that out. OK. And again, make the loop fairly small for this. And flick it out. Good. Right. Would you like to take in all three coils now? Top hand always above the bottom hand, that's it. And the second one's slightly smaller. OK, where are you going? Let the rope slip through. Now it's nearly tight, so get ready to release the first loop. Let it go when you're ready. And hand straight down. Nice straight pulls, that's right. OK, you need to just start to guide the sally with your top hand. So just guide it, that's it, and then straight back down. Straight back down to the bottom hand. Now, you need to get ready to release the next loop. You'll have to give a slightly harder pull before you let it go. That's it, well done. Don't slip your hand down the rope, but move it straight down. And just steady up a little bit on the pull now that the bell's nearly at the top. Nice and steady. And you're going to get ready to release that final coil by flicking it out. Nice and steady, when you're ready.
Let the rope through as it asks for it. Go on to two hands, ringing normally. And when you're ready, just stand the bell up. 